And welcome back, this is Wallace Cooper with an episode of Let's Play Xenogears. I'm joined, as always, by Fei Fong Long. We've also got Doc Satanazuki and Bart Bartholomew Fatima with us today. We are still in the Snowfield Hideout. There are basically two things that I need to go over while I'm here. And the first one is over here. This guy, remember, he's like dirt, he's digging for, for treasure or stuff. Uh, you have to give him gold nuggets. I don't have any right now. So... I will farm those and get those to them. Secondly, we never went up this elevator. Do I want to go up? Yes, I do need to get up. What I need to do is go up here and try to get what's left. Do you remember what's up here? I bet you don't. I bet you don't at all. Nobody has any nobody has any memory of Shavat layout. Where were the choo choos were? And now, these things that were kind of guarded before, their treasures, they are open to us. Let us grab their stuff. This is a strange old Grandpa Choo Choo's precious treasure. I wonder what happened to him when Shavak crashed down to Earth. I haven't seen him, his treasure. Can we just take it? I'm sure he won't mind if we just borrow it. Received a vivid turban. And speed shoes. Now, the speed shoes are definitely awesome. Vivid Turban, I don't think any of the guys here can wear. Maybe... Maybe Satan... Satan would be the only one. No, no, he can't. But he could equip the Speed Shoes, which is Auto Haste. Yeah! Auto Haste. I will equip that uh, on whoever we end up using on the final party. I might even equip that before the next dungeon. Because they are so awesome. Speed shoes, right? They cast auto haste on your character. But because they cast auto haste on your character, that for some reason transfers over to your gear, which basically acts as a, a boost. A booster. Automatic booster. No need to, to do the booster, no need to waste the fuel. So those things are some of the best weapons in the game, or best items in the game, best accessories, whatever you want to call it. Just borrowing it, just borrowing it. Hey, it's not like we're grave robbers or anything, right? So, don't hex us or haunt us, okay? Please, we're begging you. Oh my god. We're gonna be haunted by Choo Choo's. Received a hero costume! And a Hercules ring. Now, the Hercules ring we've already gotten before. And I'll probably be using that to some pretty good effect uh, later on. But, this hero... Hero costume, I believe, is that hero costume? Yes. Uh, defense does go down with the when, when an ally is knocked out, but you know, defense up by 36 all the rest of the time, and that hardly ever goes down. Now, if you guys remember, or was it the Hercules Ring experience points gained up 50%? So if you put two of those on one person. You're doing pretty good. You're doing pretty damn good. That's you know, you're getting double the experience. We need to go up these stairs because we are not done here. We need to grab a Yamato belt out of that display case. And this one right here has a wizardry ring. We've gotten these before. Uh, I, I have no use for the wizardry ring anymore. I'm, I'm already done learning death blows. But in here, over here, for some reason you need to go over here. This is the mythical RPS badge. The h &S badge of legend. And the tag badge that even collectors go crazy over. I bet that old Choo Choo guy must have been so happy. It was displayed so nicely here. I can't take this from him. He gently put the badge back where he found it. Which, I kind of want him back to be honest with you because they, they sound so epic. But they don't do anything for you so they stay there. And it looks like that we're actually done. In the snowfield hideout, you know. Oh. I should probably equip the gears before I leave. So, I'm going to equip the gears and I will meet you outside. Where there actually is an outside. And we can leave the snowfield hideout where we've been for way too long. Way too damn long. And we are outside. I know, can you believe it? There's, there's like an outside. There's a world map in this game. I had completely forgotten. <laughs> We're here at the snow snowfield hideout. If you look on the map, it's pretty much the furthest south. And 
pretty much the whole world has changed. All the dots are gone. Let's get into the Yggdrasil and find out what we can do. Um, yeah, you can actually go into Deus right now, and I believe that is the end of the game. The last dungeon going into Deus. But I don't want to do that. Not if I don't have to, not if there's side quests to be had. And the first thing we must do, though, is actually go back into the Yggdrasil. We've got work to do in here, believe it or not. So, let's... Is, is... Hey, what's up? What's up, dude? What's up, Franz? I didn't realize that you were there. Want to hear some hot sounds that I've recorded? Yes. Number 230. Sure, one more. 279. Uh, yeah, we, we can do no one more. Number two. Oh, number two. That was lame. No, we're done here. You you are not as cool as I remember, Franz. <laughs> not nearly as cool as I remember. While we're here, though, we need to have a couple conversations with a couple people. And, well, they're not necessary to any side quest or even to further the plot. But, you know, th they're conversations that are worth having. So, the first thing's first. We need to talk to Margie. We we could try to talk to to Prim, but yeah, she doesn't she doesn't have anything to say like ever. What's up, Margie? You're the only ones who can save us, Luke. You are our only hope. We're counting on you. I messed up the Star Wars line. What the hell, Luke? You're my only hope. There we go, young master. You better not die. Promise me. Of course, I'm not going to die. Quit saying such weird stuff. Sorry. Yeah, you're right. You'll make it back. When you come back, I'm going to... Well, I just thought... Maybe I could be closer to you. You know? Hey, whoa, quit it! Do you know what you're saying? <laughs> just kidding, young master. You're all panicked. <laughs> I know what she's saying. Funny, I don't see Choo Choo anywhere. Where'd she go off to? Change party members? Uh, just, just to show you what's going on here a little bit I'm not actually gonna change party members I I you know I, I leveled up Xenogears and Fenrir as high as they would go uh, and Vari I got the uh, the fuel and output up but not the HP not the frame yet uh, we can't select Ellie she's not even on the list which sucks and then hell yeah here's Choo Choo I, I can grow color for you yeah just nope can't get Choo Choo how do you get Choo Choo in your party again well, it's not too difficult. In fact, that is our next destination. Getting Choo Choo back for whatever fucking reason. But, if you want to get her back in your party, here's how you do it. Um, let's try to go over here and change the camera angle a bit. Because, when we go over here... There she is. She's in the gear hangar. Because she's a gear! She's a choo-choo gear! Fine. What do you want to do? View gear from the front! Oh, man. It's more disturbing when it's blown up. Alright, let's hear the lowdown on the gear. You have to hear the lowdown if you want choo-choo back in your party. This is, huh, choo-choo, what in the world are you doing here? You don't need any maintenance work. You're in the way. Go eat some food and take a nap or something. I'm exhausted, choo. Since you're here, I like a massage. Just kidding. Ellie, she was so kind. I know I'm not the only one who misses her. I refuse to. I refuse to. I know Bob, Maji, Billy, Satan, Rico, Maria, Elmerada, and Faye all do too. Although they don't say it, I can feel it. Standing here, I remember her kind and gentle smile. Ellie will return, won't she? Mm. Thanks, Choo Choo. Thanks for trying to reduce all this tension in the air for me. I'll remember this. Anyway, Ellie's got to be alive, right? Faye. I love you, Faye. Let's go back to the room. Margie seemed worried. Okay, I'll come too. And that's how you get the giant pink chipmunk back into your party. 
I, I, I probably won't be using her unless you guys absolutely force me to, but that that's how you do it. While we're here, though, we might as well check out the rest of the gears. Uh, we'll start over here. Start with the Crescents, because I don't think we have fully checked these ones out. We can get height and weight and a little bit of description from them. Let's view the gear from the front, the good side. She ain't got no arms. You ain't got no arms, Emerald! And she's got a Bomberman face. The gear, whatever. Let's hear the lowdown on it. I bet they were. P yeah, it's Emerald's gear. Height, weight, of course. Very light, actually. This gear's controls are quite unique. The colony of nano machines from Emerald's Emerald's body. I can read, I swear. Physically merges with the gear for direct control. Theoretically, this gear shouldn't require repairs, but it seems they don't try to repair anything except Elmeralda herself, so we're left with no other choice but to have to maintain the gear. The surface hovering and flight capabilities, capabilities are quite impressive. Yes, yes they are. She can hover, is what they're saying. The Crescents can hover. Check out Ren Mazua. We haven't had a chance to see it since it got upgraded. Everything is re-upgraded if you've forgotten, uh, because we got Xeno Gears. Uh, these Xeno Gears, I should say. They were able to reconstruct the Omni Gear upgrade in everybody else's gear. It makes sense. Shut up. View the gear from the front. It looks a lot cooler than than the original Ren Mazua. I must admit, I like I like this upgrade probably the most. In terms of appearance, I should say. Here's the lowdown. This is Billy's gear. Height and weight. Because I care. Like the other Omni Gears, it was at one point an animal relic that was absorbed by Deus and thus deactivated. However, using the data taken from Xenogears as a base, the Sages of Shavat, Balthazar, and Melchior could reconstruct it. Thanks to that, its capabilities have been increased compared to the prior version. That's how you spell capabilities. The standard weapon is the same as before reconstruction. Billy's father's bunt line cannon can still be used too. He's talking about the Jesse cannon. So sweet, you can still use the Jesse cannon. And most of the other crap was just like filler. They didn't really have anything to say. That's where Choo Choo was. Let's, let's check out the steer. We haven't really gotten, I know we haven't gotten a close up look of the steer since its upgrade. Let's, let's look at it. And I can complain about it. Okay, this thing looks awesome if you cut off everything above the shoulders, right? Because the eyes are way down there, That re those two red things, way down near, underneath the shoulders, pretty much. And then what the hell is everything up there? Just get rid of all that and we're good. I okay, I'm done. I'm done about that one. That It just looks weird. Alright, this is Steer. It is Ricardo Banderas' gear. And then height and weight is very heavy. It's a very heavy gear. And then he says the same thing that he said about the Ren Mazua. Using the data from Xenogears, blah blah blah, they reconstructed it thanks to that. His capabilities have increased compared to the prior version. Its standard weapon is the same as it was before its reconstruction. Thank you! He has nothing to say. Like, nothing. Not a damn thing. You have to go straight down, for whatever reason. I keep on thinking I can go right because I want to go right, but going right from that screen does nothing. Just, like, makes you, like, stop moving off screen. It's very awkward. Let's check out the Fenrir. View the gear from